Welcome back. Um, if you've not been to the channel before, my name's Harvey. I'm a data slash software engineer. And today I'm going to take you through a day in my life. Um, I just seen this morning, I got up, had a coffee. I was just checking some emails. Um, and now I'm just doing some personal stuff because I'm actually leaving my current role in about 10 weeks time and going off to be a lead data engineer at a new company. So I'm just making a list of kind of the tech slash tooling I want on my personal machine so I can make sure I get it on there. And a really important one of those is aliases. Aliases are basically aliases for terminal commands. So you use them in your terminal. Um, I like them to shorten a lot of Git commands as well as some stuff around Python, like doing some pip free stuff. Um, and it just makes my life a lot easier, a bit more efficient, makes some of my workflows a bit quicker. normally had a stand up today but um, every two weeks we kind of have a break because we have another retro later in the day and that's quite a long meeting so we remove the stand up. Like I say because I'm kind of in the run up to leaving this role I don't have too much on at the minute. I've got one bit of code I'm trying to fix for a task that goes and refreshes Power BI data sets. I've got that into kind of data pipelines, messing around with the MSAL, MSAL library in Python. Um, but aside from that, I think I'm just going to do some documentation on a repo that I uh, kind of built the, the base out of uh, and put on any new features. I think the repo needs to be implemented and then leave that up to the, the current team kind of once I've gone to see if they want to implement them. So I'm just about to have lunch. Um, this uh, The issues I had with the MSAL library this morning turns out that I was doing the correct thing as it's just that the app registration doesn't have the correct scope set up for me to access what I wanted to do with the Power BI application in terms of refreshing data sets. So now I'm just gonna have some lunch, which is a mushroom wrap, I'm trying to eat healthy. And then I'm gonna do a bit of editing on my Mac mini and get some stuff out yeah later on i'm going to do some ideation for possibly a new project that i want to start soon but i'll fill you guys more in on that a later day So we're just about finished up for the day, um, but I thought I'd give a quick glimpse into what the idea is for the application slash SaaS offering that I'd like to start building. I'd just like to caveat it by saying that this isn't something that I'm relying on to be monetized. I just like to expand my skill set, and I have a real problem with like side projects not seeing them through. But with this one, I have quite an idea that's kind of close to what I'm currently doing with YouTube. And so to explain that is the SaaS offering that I want to build is essentially a YouTube content creator kind of management and studio. So there are offerings out there like Tubity, but what I'd like is a kind of centralized hub where content creators um, 
given the resources they need to succeed on YouTube. So it's tooling like scheduling content, as well as like reviewing thumbnails, seeing their analytics, um, being able to see optimization tips, do market research, um, you know, see how they fare up against other content creators in the same place and kind of in the same niche and so yeah i'm probably gonna finish the video around there in the next one i'm probably gonna start looking into the first steps i need to do to create the youtube comp content creator companion application and show you the process of planning that out and how i'm gonna grow the ideas and stuff but it's all pretty new to me so a lot of this will be learning for me so bear with but um yeah hoping it'll be a good series